Every autumn, hunters come by planes, trains, and automobile to hunt pheasant in the great state of South Dakota. Here we see an old veteran of the pheasant hunt. It's our old friend Matt. Matt knows a thing or two about hunting roosters in South Dakota. Oh, it looks like Matt brought a friend with him. Matt's friend's name is Billy Bob. Billy Bob has never experienced the excitement of a South Dakota pheasant hunt, and boy, is he excited. After their gear is loaded into the truck, the two companions are off to the pheasant fields to match wits with the wily rooster. After a quick change of clothes, our friends and hunters are ready to take to the field. Say, Billy Bob, you need some hunter orange on. You want your hunting companions to see you when you're out in the field, don't you? There's no shortage of orange to wear around here. Let's see if we can find you some more. That's better. Now you're ready to go. That hunter orange will help keep you safe in the field. Hey, Billy Bob, aren't you still forgetting something? What about your safety glasses? I guess that will have to do. Boys, we're getting close to the field. It's time to get our guns ready. Make sure you have the correct shells for your shotguns. Say, Billy Bob, you better get all those other gauge shells out of your pockets. During the excitement of the hunt, you might put a wrong shell in and then we would have a real problem. All right then, it's time to go find some birds. This looks like a good spot for our prize South Dakota pheasants. Okay boys, our quarry is nearby. Keep an eye out and call out those birds. Hen, hen, hen! Hey, Billy Bob, that was a hen. Shooting a hen is a $125 fine. It's a good thing old Billy Bob is a terrible shot. We only shoot roosters in South Dakota. All right, let's try again, Billy Bob. Get ready and remember, only shoot the pretty ones. Rooster, rooster! Great shot, Billy Bob, and this one has the right colors. This calls for congratulations. Billy Bob, no! There is no drinking of alcohol until after the hunt. Drinking and hunting is extremely dangerous. Well, that was a fine shot, Billy Bob. Let's move on. There are more birds to be had. Hey, that was some fine gunning. Looks like old Billy Bob may be getting the hang of this. What's the matter there, Billy Bob? Looks like you may have a gun jam. You should always ask for help and be very careful with that. Say, that was a close call. We have to be more careful with a jammed gun. And again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Well, that was a good first walk, fellas. Now where to? Billy Bob, that is not the way to cross a fence with a gun. There has to be a safer way. Oh, 
Oh, Billy Bob. While he may have found a safer way to get across that fence, he isn't respecting the landowner's property. What are we going to do with him? Time for one last walk before the end of the day. It's been a challenge, but our hunters have done pretty well. Heads up, guys. Matt sees some birds running around ahead of us. That bird is too low. Let it get up. Billy Bob, not only did you shoot at a bird that was far too low, you have to let other hunters have a chance. That bird got up close to Matt. A majority of South Dakota's hunting accidents are caused by hunters shooting at low birds or birds that are outside of their zone. Let's just finish up this walk while concentrating on safety. I'd say our hunters had a pretty good day in South Dakota. Hopefully Billy Bob learned a few things on how to hunt roosters safely. South Dakota is a pretty spectacular place for a pheasant hunt. Billy Bob, you can't smoke in the fields out here. There is too great a risk for fire. We want to leave these fields as we found them. South Dakota is indeed Pheasant Land USA, a place where roosters still roam free and friends can come and experience hospitality that is second to none. Billy Bob and Matt can't wait to return to this farm and chase roosters another time. So have fun out there, but don't be a Billy Bob. <laughs>